Okay, when you want to start up um, Geosoft for the first time, you need to create a project. So how you do that is you click on File, then Project, and then New. So the next time you come along, you'll obviously click on Open and open your previous project. And um, you can create multiple projects for different topics or different projects. So click on New, and um, I'm going to create a folder here under libraries so um, choose a place where you'd like to save everything and just be consistent about going back there so I'm going to go to documents and I'm going to create a folder called Geosoft and I'm going to go inside of it and maybe I've got a dark project that I'm looking at in the Karoo so I'm going to call it Karoo underscore dark um, label it clearly so that you know what you're looking for when you can come back you can identify it click save and it just takes a bit of time because it's got to load up all of the, mem uh, the menus. Okay, and you can see your, your window opens there. And at the top it says Crew Dyke, so that's the name of my project. These are all your menus at the top, several different icons. In the left here is Group Manager Tool. We're going to use that when you create maps. And then at the bottom here it will list, once you've loaded them, your databases, grids and maps. Um, okay, so that's your first step on how to get started. Most likely, the thing that you're going to do is to import a database. So either you can create a brand new database and copy and paste your data into that, or you can physically import your file. And so how you would do that is you go to this menu at the top here called Database. Please note that there's a Database menu and there's a Database Tools menu. We are going to database, we're going to import, and then you can see if your file is a text file or a .csv or a .dat file, then you're going to click on ASCII, otherwise you can always import an Excel spreadsheet, either you can import single sheets or all sheets. Let's go for ASCII at the moment. I'm going to click on ASCII and it says to me file to import, and so I need to navigate to it. I click on these three dots to be able to find my file. Um, and then you just navigate. Sorry, my computer will just take a bit of time because it's running off an external. So I scroll down um, to my folder. I go to Geosoft where I've saved stuff. Um, and it's really it's important to be careful about labeling your files because you need to be able to find everything later and so I try and call things the same name so the database that I call it if I create a grid from it I use the same name if I create a map from it I use the same name just so I can track down um, how everything is linked so I'm going to import some data here from field school and there's nothing 